All right, welcome back to the channel, boys. Before we get started, I do want to say screw dackies, still available. Link is down <laughs> in the description. They're they're good. You should definitely get one. They're nice and soft. Highest quality lycra. Also, subscribe to the channel. Just do that. It helps me out lots. Last video or last art video. What the f*** the dog do it? Last art video, we learned the very basics of color theory. Tonight, we're going to apply it and paint some wolves. Paint, who doesn't like painting wolves? Okay, so most of you remember, this is Holly Howells, Holly Howells on Twitch. We're gonna paint some wolves. Just know when I'm painting really calming in serene scenes, I'm listening to death metal. Watched Holly paint once and it was like insane death metal that she knew and all of her brush strokes were in time with the music and I'm like, holy f It helps me focus. So the first thing we're gonna do is fill in the background with those uh, with those greens. So we're gonna try to average out all those colors, find the like the neutral color. Just try to visualize what the average color, and the average value of that background is. That looks like it could be it. I would say it's around here. What I find always works best for me is I always start with the midtones, and I always start with the average color. There's a lot of dark in this one. So yeah. I'm actually going to push it down even further. I'm probably going to go down to 20. Are we doing a new layer? Yes, we'll be working on a new layer. Okay. So right now, I set my brush to around 200. We're going to use a big old fat brush. We're going to do this entire piece with one brush. Oh, I got and we're going to use the average value in the average hue of that brush. get a slightly darker brush or a darker color and quickly just jot in the face we're not worrying about detail we're just worrying about the shape this is all i'm putting in <laughs> this is all i'm putting in she says Fuck. painting is a lot messier than cell shading or even sketching and that's yeah. half the charm of painting do i have an upper hand because my life is a mess yeah don't get too caught up in the details because we're just the using these as like light guidelines because what we're trying to do here is just mark out the main shapes and the main shapes i see is a little, little snout little, the big old skull which has a very strong like triangle shape the shoulder takes up a lot of this piece as well all right i think we can move on from here okay <laughs> okay in the reference there is a lot of color variety in the shadow you got the warm the warm grays and you also got a lot of blue grays so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this base color and we're gonna hue shift it to the blue using the b slider well that's yeah. really blue oh you can go really really blue, I'm blue. And at this point i actually increased my brush size to about 100. okay we're i still have still trying to block in a lot of the, the larger shapes i also have a brush of 100. there also might be a little bit of green in there so i'm gonna push the a slider a little to the left okay I would always say the blue hues are being reflected on the left side. So on your piece, you have blue on the right side. I would remove some there. Holy shit. Okay, I'm gonna buy a different monitor. On like the monitor I'm drawing on, it looks fine. And then I look on my color accurate monitor and it's like fucking fluorescent blue. Yeah, I was on my way to draw on a sparkle. Well, Jesus. If the shadow is in view of the sky, it will be blue. If the shadow is not in view of the sky, it will be the local color or the reflected color off the ground. Holy shit. <laughs> That's so advanced. And the local color of this wolf is kind of like an eggshell white. That's why it is appearing warmer. But the parts that are exposed to the sky are more bluer. And that is why the underside of the wolf it is not blue. It is that eggshelly color. My favorite part is coming up next. And that's when we add the lighting. <laughs> My favorite part is when the struggle is over. That's the thing about art. The struggle never ends. Don't say that. Now, you're gonna work in the light. So I would take a warm white. My brush size is about 150. I would go really bright. Really, really bright with this. Like 90%. Okay. Start blocking in those larger shapes. Okay. 
And if you need to make it smaller to get the little smaller shapes, that is totally fine. You can make your brush size 100 or 50 to get into those really tight areas, the cheekbone or the bottom of the, the muzzle or even the rim lighting around the ears. Looking at your lighting, I would say go even brighter than that. The only reason why I say that is because your local color is a little bit brighter than mine. That is a-okay. So yours looks like a wolf. Mine looks like a fucking blob. When do you yeah, think you have your shadow set? Set it, oh, okay. And then we can move on to the next the next bit. Holly's is looking at us like we're food. Screws is looking at us like we're fun. Mine's not looking at anything, dude. It doesn't even have eyes. That's actually the next phase. I was actually gonna put in the little nose, the little little mushroom nose. Are you just using black? So a cool blue at around 15%. It looks like I went like, you know, one of these. <laughs> I would spread the eyes apart just yeah. a little bit. Yeah, oh, absolutely. No, that was that was one of those things where I was sitting there contemplating my life. I was like, okay, the eyes need to be better. Do do better, screw. Okay, am I like, am I on the right track here? That, that you is... are on the right track. The eyes are in shadow and they appear to be more of a olive color. Oh, you did pupils too, fuck. Two little dots. And there's two little teethies. There is, but it just looks like it's a hooker wearing bad lipstick right now. I think your issue with the bottom of the mouth is this right here. Oh, oh. This part right here. It kind of goes up. Square it out just a little bit. Also, not everything has to look good zoomed in. If it looks good zoomed out, you're fine. You already accomplished what you were trying to do. So what if it doesn't look good zoomed out? <laughs> Fuck. There are two more things I would do to this piece. There is a lot of reflective light coming off of the wolf in front. Do you see how orange it is on the chest? Yes, I and see And that. that is light being reflected off of the wolf in front. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a little bit of bounce lighting, just a little bit, not even lighting, we're just saturating that area. Color pick your chest and we're gonna make it more orange by increasing the B, lightening it just a little bit. You know when Homer Simpson makes the grill and he's like, the Lake grill. grill, what is a Lake Grill? And then he builds it and he holds up the postcard and he's like, ah, and he pulls it down. He's like, why, why does it mine look, look like, like that? that? And it's a pile of mess. That's what I'm dealing with. <laughs> there are things that are okay about this and things that are not okay. Let's, let's move on. We can quickly jot in some light into the background. Oh, you did background? Oh, fuck. Yeah, just like a, a quick pass, just, just to fill it in. I went a little bit warmer. A hue shifted it towards the the yellows and oranges just a little bit. It's still not the right green. Or we can I... just scratch it in and start working on the black wolf. Yeah, let's do Let's just, we'll fuck this one. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's move on. It's a stepping stone. You know what else is a stepping stone? My two fucking brain cells. The picture we're working off of is much easier than the, the white wolf. Just like posing? It's you so mean? monochrome. All right, let's start with the average color of the background. Make it so I'm Average not... value, average hue. Oh shit. Which is a little into the blue grays. Yeah. Just barely. That's way. I would say negative five on the B. That was a negative zero 10. on the A. Yeah. Any of y'all don't understand what I'm talking about? I use lab color, L-A-D. Lightness, temperature, and tint, I believe. It stands for something.
What do you have there? A knife! No! Does he bite? No. Why do you have a knife? Don't worry. Does he stab? <laughs> oh, uh, screw it. One tip of advice. Just, when you're just doing the tip? a little dabbling with the, the brush, yeah. make sure the direction you're doing it in follows the direction of the fur. Oh, okay. Okay. Good call. That's a good call. See, I would not have figured that out because I'm kind of dumb. Because if you look at mine, you can see how my fur yeah. is following yeah. a general direction, even though, like, the really small little dabbles, like, even right here, like, on the side of the muzzle, they're all kind of facing downwards. Like, no, that makes a lot of sense because that's what fur does. Okay, I think my brain is fried. I know I've said that, like, three times now, but I think it's actually fried. Proud of you. I am proud of you, and thank you for your help. You actually did a better job than me with the muzzle shake. I... Mine's looking a little flat on the top. Uh... Yours has the correct width. That was it. My brain's done. Thank you guys for watching. This is it. If you like Holly's art, go check out Holly. The link is down below in the description. If you want to see more of my art, that sucks to be you because it's not released publicly at this point in time until I'm better, but that's fine. Thank you all for watching. That's the end of the video. Subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.